Hello dear friends, I am very excited as I have received my workbook from Indian Talent Olympiad. Mm, yeah, so let's see what's inside. So, so first of all, here is the science and then it's maths and then it's English. Yeah, and there are general knowledge. And all of these are of class 4. So let's see my favorite subject, science. So here, it's science. So I will tell you the cons uh, contents in it. So chapter 1, it has our body. Yeah, our bones. And second is plants. Third is animals. Animals. And fourth is birds. birds. And fifth is food. And sixth is clothings and seventh is environment eight is art in its neighbors this neighbors is not neighbors and ninth is logical reasoning and they also have modern question papers and answer and explanations so let's begin okay so let's start with our first chapter that is our body so first question is eyes are dash organs so the right answer is actually i'm going to tell you the options first a is external, B is sensory, C is both A and B, and D is none of this. The right answer is C because it's also external and sensory. So the C is very easy, A and B, right? So let's pick a random number, I mean random question. So let's choose four. The organs inside our body remain in their places because they are placed in dash. Option A, cavity, B, bags, C, boxes, and D is holes. Actually, the right answer is cavity or no because that is the last option. And also, bags are where you carry bags and boxes are boxes where you carry, for example, this laptop. <laughs> and cavity, uh, like, well, let me tell you the definition of cavity. It is like a play, I mean a space or a compartment. A compartment, yeah, where organs are where organs are stored or type of stored yeah so let's go to the next chapter that is plants so question number one is a root that, that stores food is a is normal potato potato uh, b is actually this is a uh, sweet potato c is onion and d is ginger so the right answer is b because only Sweet potato has a modified root. Modified root means a root that is modified into like that. Yeah. And let's do second question. The roots that grow out of shoots of cane plants are, I mean sugar canes plants are, A is tap roots, B is fibrous roots, C is props root, wow, and D is none of these. So the right answer is the uh, B, I mean obviously, right? Because they have fibrous root. So let's move to next chapter. Chapter 3 is animals. So let's pick a random question. That is second. So let's start. Which of the following is a mammal? Options A is frog, B is bat, C is fish, and D is you know ants. So the right answer is B bat you may think it's a bird but it's a mammal and it is the only mammal that could fly yeah and it gives birth to its young ones yeah and let's go to the third question we match the following okay so we have to match the following here birds have i mean duck has feathers so one to b and two to d three to a and four to c there is snake okay so let's see uh, what we have done. So we have matched duck to feathers, bat to fur, lizards to scale, and snail to shell. So let's see. We have done B, A to B. So A and D is move out, and like we do in the, some games, right? Yeah. And it's two is same. So let's see. Bat has fur, both is not then, and three is lizard and it has scales so the right answer is c because you know it's uh, in the right scale right so next chapter is chapter four of course that is birds my favorite birds yeah and first question is which of the following birds can fly a is 
you know, ostrich, B is penguin, C is parrot, I mean pigeon, and D is kiwi. So it's obvious, right answer is pigeon. So let's move to the second question. Which of the following is the smallest bird? A is pigeon, B is hummingbird, C is kiwi, and D is sparrow. So you may be thinking it's kiwi because it's that much small, yeah, sometimes. But hummingbirds can get small like sometimes bees, like honeybees. Yes. So let's move to the next chapter. That is fifth chapter. That is food. I mean, chapter five. Chapter five is food. Question number one is which food compound is required to make our teeth stronger? A is calcium. D B is iodine. C is iron. And D is vitamins. So the right answer is A. Calcium. Yeah. Mm, doctor sometimes gives calcium to us. Yeah. And yeah. So next question. Choose the odd one out among the following. A is mango. B is mango pickle. C is mango plop. And D is mango jar. So the right answer is A because all of these are made up of mango. But all, I mean, B, C and D are sometimes like upgrade from a, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, mango upgrade, like prickle is uh, upgrade to make prickle, <laughs> bulb is mashed and then mango jam is more than that. <laughs> so let's go to the next chapter that is chapter 6. Okay, so here chapter 6 that is clothing. First question is which type of cloth should be worn during winter season? A is cotton, B is nylon, C is woolen and D is jute. Is a peasy as a pie. It's answer is C. That is woolen, of course. Uh, let's do the third question. That is, clothes is made up of A plastic, B is yarn, C is rubber, D is silkworm. <laughs> so the right answer is, you know what? Yarn. Yeah. R yarn, you know, yarn uh, that is like threads, and threads are like like woven to make a ball, and then you would also make a cloth with it and your grandpa may make it yeah <laughs> so chapter 7 is our environment question number one is all the water we get from the dash a is river b is rain rain yeah uh, and c is lakes and d is sea of course it's rain too easy uh, okay so let's do like c three i mean Look at the picture shown below and answer the following question. There are dead fishes. Oh. What could be the reason for the death of these fishes? Question option A. The fishes were fighting with each other. Nope. Uh, B. Someone fed poison to these fi fishes. How dare he? <laughs> C. Yes. The Pollutes in the water result in less oxygen. Yeah, this is more cases. And D, let's see. The big fishes in the water killed the small fishes. This is not true because if they kill them, they will just vanish. I mean, they will be in the their stomach. <laughs> so the right answer is C because no one will fed poison. We will fed them poison and fighting. They never fight maximum times. <laughs> and let's do our eighth chapter. Earth and its neighbors. Chapter 8 is Earth and its neighbors. Here, Earth is our Earth, and neighbors are not your neighbors or my neighbors. It's Earth neighbors like Mrs. Mr. Planets and Mrs. Sun. I mean, women are more angry, right? And they have like uh, uh, suns that are very really small but large in quantities, like 10 billion. And there is one thing that is there, that balance, that is not visible with naked eye. <laughs> so let's start with our questions. So first is spinning of earth around itself is called, A is revolution, I mean rotation, B is revolution, C is movement and D is merry go around. So rotation means rotating around it and I mean rotating itself in their axis and rotate or revolution means to revolute around its own star. I'm uh, telling star because other planet also do revolution. I mean, yeah. 
revolution. Some planets do not do rotation like other in other galaxies and movement. C is movement. This is a very bad word because uh, movement means to do here, go here or here or here. You want to see that it's going here. It's uh, movement means to go anywhere. It's round or square. And many go around is a thing, not an activity to do. It's actually uh, sometimes like you may see it in the circles like children sat on it and it's just I mean, go round and round, so it's name, <laughs> Mary go round. So, question two is, revolution of Earth results in dash. So, the right, okay. So, options is day and night, B is seasons, C is size of moons, and D is none of these. So, the right answer is B, seasons, obvious, because day and night are uh, moving when Earth is doing the rotation, not revolution. Ro uh, revolution is done, like, rotating around its stars and here sun and it changes our seasons so the ninth chapter is logical reasoning as you all know so and it's the last year and so let's start with our first question that is look at the clock shown below that is okay so if the clock is placed in the front of the mirror what will be the time shown by the mirror image it's now 345 let's see if we just do it opposite it will be like 9 and then here it will be 15 let's see a is 9 15 that's right let's see the other options b is 9 45 nope 2 is 45 i mean 245 c is 245 and b is 315 everything wrong because uh, 945 will be like to like this and <laughs> 315 will be like this so the right answer is a so let's go to the next question actually it's like that yeah look at the arrangement given below and answer the questions below second question is what is the position of this sunflower it is th okay let's see first option is third to the left of uh, this books so third to the left but there is nothing in the left side right because there are only two and third is missing so it's not wrong it's a wrong i mean <laughs> b is second to the right of this butterfly there is nothing in the right so it's also wrong c is third to the right of apple so first second third it's i mean cat it's the cat not the sunflower and d is second to the right of apple this this is the right because it's second to the apple, obviously. So, these were all for today. And I personally love these books. I'm very excited to participate in ITO's exams. And I think you should also try this Olympiad. See you in the next video. Bye and all the best for your exams.